Hello, everyone. It truly is sad that I have to make this video. But in a weekend conference with all safety team members, it is agreed by all members that we adopt a no tolerance policy. Now, why is this? It is because truckers today out there are doing whatever they want to. Drive as they want to, park whatever they want to, even though they're not supposed to. They follow too close. When they pass another truck, they cut the driver off. And when you try to tell them something, they give you an argument and come out with all kinds of stupidity making fun out of safety and thinking it's all a joke. They pass the driver, cut him off. They argue with you when you try to tell them something that you just cut the driver off. Oh no, I gave you plenty of room. No, you didn't. I gave you a truck length. You just admit it when you say that, that you cut the driver off. And I'll explain to you why. I'm gonna give you an example at 65 miles an hour. You all can do the mathematics yourself. I'm not going to explain it to you at different uh, speeds what it's going to be like. 65 miles an hour, a truck is traveling at 96 feet per second. It takes three seconds for the brakes to engage on a truck before the truck starts even to slow down. During that three seconds, multiply 96 feet per second times three, and you come out with the number of feet that that truck has traveled before the brakes engage. A regular truck is 70 feet long. So take it from there. We are tired of the stupidity of the excuses you, the drivers, recently have become uncontrollable. You don't care about the safety or the lives of the people that you drive around, including your fellow truck drivers. So, we are adopting a no tolerance policy. Yes, we've declared war on the truckers out here on the road. Since you don't care about the safety and the lives of the drivers whom you drive around, your fellow drivers, you end up in one of our videos and you get ends up on YouTube right here on this channel, which is going to start getting very, very busy. We don't care if you lose your job. Some of the worst drivers we have out here on the road are the Pakistanis, Canadians, Russians, and all the other ethnicities that they have out here in Chicago, Illinois. I'll bet most of you saw the video of VL trucking. That's the type of driving that's happening out here on the road. We've got 16 cameras on our trucks. You'll only see 12 most of the time. The other four, those are specialized cameras for our eyes only at the safety team. Those give us certain information we need to know about you. We also have the capability now of having a camera at the back of the trailer. And we can also get your license plate. When our cameras are sensitive enough now that they can pull out your license plate. We have license plate recognition cameras. That's it. No more warnings, no more discussion on the radio, no more stupidity because most of you drivers, oh, well, you want to prove your ego. Well, let's pull off to the side of the road and discuss it like men. The only thing you have in mind when you do that 
is you want to resort to fisticuffs or even come out with a gun and blow the driver away like what a black driver did to a Hispanic driver out in West Virginia. The driver was cutting the Hispanic driver off all the time. Finally, driver had an offset pull off to the side. The Hispanic driver came out with a gun. Black driver came out with a sawed-off shotgun and blew the Hispanic driver away. Left him dead, carried on down the road, and they caught him at a Schneider terminal in Carlisle, PA. Make no mistake about it. It's time to pay the fiddler. We've tried to reason with some of you out here on the road, and, uh, no avail. Enough is enough. And we're not going to tolerate it anymore. Simple as that. So, we've got cameras all over the place on our trucks, and there's 200 trucks out in the United States that have the same camera system that I do, and it is monitored live. We have a full studio crew, a full safety department, a full legal crew to make sure that the videos are made in compliance with the law. And then it gets published. So it's going to be your choice whether you're going to come out here on the road, be a professional driver, and drive like you're supposed to, compliant with respect for the lives of others, and do the speed limit. Or you're going to end up on our channel here. Our channel is not the place you want to end up in a video. I guarantee you that. Because there are people that visit our channel that you don't want to see you driving. The way at least 90% of you out here are driving. I myself don't trust 90% of you driving on dry roads, let alone wet roads from rain, snow, and ice. We've all seen the accidents when the snow and ice hit this year. What did you see? These so-called uh, professional drivers. Oh, don't tell me how to drive. You drive your truck, I'll drive mine. You can only drive one truck at a time. If I'm telling you about it because I'm behind you observing what you're doing or what you're doing around me, you need to be told. It's as simple as that. So there you have it. Driving compliance to the law or you end up on our channel. Simple as that. And with that, I'm going to tell you that there will be no more discussions on the radio. You won't even be told. In most cases, when we uh, send the video to your company, they'll take care of it. And as many times as we've told drivers, well, we're going to contact your company, let them explain it to you. Oh, I am the company. I own the company. Yeah, okay, company with 40 trucks and you're out here on the road. We know better. If you are the single truck owner operator, we'll take care of that problem too. There's a couple of about five owner operators that found out just because they own the company, they own the truck and they own the DOT and the authority doesn't mean that they're going to come out here and drive as they want. We forwarded a complaint with the video to the DOT of the originating state of the DOT number and the company. And DOT is taking this seriously. When all else fails, look what happened to VL Trucking. Watch the video. Their insurance is under the review because we sent the video to their insurance. We can find this out. Trust me. We have the capabilities. Their insurance company received the video and a complaint. And I guarantee you the insurance told the company, get rid of that driver. He is not insurable. Insurable. We will send the video like what we did to VL Trucking. In this case, it got sent to the Ohio DOT, the state in which the incident happened. We sent it to Illinois, 
even though the company claims it's out of Iowa. So they got the uh, Illinois DOT after them, and we got the FNCSA involved because the company falsified their physical address. The address that they gave was in Iowa, and there's no trucking company there. It's all coffee shops, flower shops, you know, coach, stuff like that. But now, here's a warning to companies from these two places, Chicago. Make no mistake about it. You know the truck. Any of your drivers drive recklessly around me or any other member, we will bypass you. It'll go directly to the authorities. Canadian drivers, we've seen the way you drive up in Canada. That's not going to wash down here. Down here, you drive according to the law and according to the rules of the road. You think just because your company is up in Canada, we're not going to be able to send them the video? Think again. We will. And with that in mind, to the 10% that's out here, that's driving with respect for other drivers and driving with total road, common, uh, road courtesy to other drivers and respecting their lives and their safety, I say thank you, keep doing the good job you're doing. The rest of you 90%, watch it and watch yourself. Because we, our safety team, are no longer going to tolerate your antics, your stupidity, or, or excuses. Have a good day, everybody.